tomatoes. They're a marvelous addition to any garden because the fruit is relatively large and certainly very tasty. Their seeds can be saved as the plant itself has been cultivated for 50 years plus. And so their seeds, when re-sown, will produce the same plant versus hybrid species that may produce more fruit. Heirlooms are one of those staples that you should include in your garden to ensure that you always have tomatoes that you can produce again and again, year after year. Up here in Northwest Ohio, growing certain varieties like the Brandywine can be problematic because often their grow time exceeds the amount of time that we have to grow. The Brandywine tomato, for example, requires 80 to 100 days to mature. Other varieties, not so long. Because of this, they're put into the ground very early in the season when the temperatures are still a little chilly. So cat facing, what causes it and how can it be avoided? I noticed many of the tomatoes that I picked that were early and by early I mean that they were around late July and into August that they had not ripened until then when they were planted early May. Because of this Many of the tomatoes that I noticed that were in my plot had a cat face to them. Now, cat facing can be caused by excess nitrogen in the soil. Excess nitrogen can cause it, and a way to combat nitrogen in your soil that is too much is to mulch which helps to reduce the nitrogen. You can also plant a crop such as corn that will soak up all of the nitrogen in that soil. But using a crop like that oftentimes does not produce the vegetation that you are looking for. So the biggest advice on that, if you think you have excess nitrogen, is to mulch. However, up here, our issue was not the excess nitrogen, but was actually because of all of the fluctuating temperatures early in spring. There were blooms on the tomato plant that looked peculiar. They looked much larger than tomato blooms that I was accustomed to seeing. Much larger in size. I thought, since I had not grown Brandywine tomatoes before, I thought that this was normal since they are a larger tomato. Come to find out though, this is an indication that the tomato plant itself will become cat-faced. Either the bloom itself was not well pollinated, maybe it stayed on the plant too long, and the fluctuating temperatures caused it not to develop correctly. The biggest advice that I can give you about avoiding cat face tomatoes is in early when your plants start producing blooms, if you notice that the blooms look peculiar, you can trim them. 
to promote more growth on the plant and to promote better looking fruit. Now as I will show here, you can have any of these cat face tomatoes and consume them without any issue. Of course you'd want to remove any bad spots on the tomato itself. You would want to make sure that it does not have any inedible spots. But the tomato itself is still delicious and is still a good addition to your table. So definitely do not discredit the use of them if you happen to miss some of those large blooms in the early spring. They're still very delicious and they look fantastic. So cat facing is not something that indicates that your crop has gone bad. You may want to check the nitrogen levels to make sure that the rest of your tomatoes do not suffer from the nutrition levels. But all in all, cat facing should not be the bane of your existence, especially when your growing season is shortened such as ours here, when you have a larger tomato, like the Brandywine, that can take up to 100 days to develop, you may want to keep them inside a little bit longer and underneath grow lamps before you put them into the soil. However, as stated, I planted these in May and did not have any issues other than the shape of the tomatoes. I hope that this has been informational to you to understand a little bit more about these delicious tomatoes and some of the quote-unquote problems that you can come across with them. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. Have a wonderful day.